Hey friends, welcome to Quantum Spirituality. I'm your guide, Jane Ritz. And welcome to this now as we consciously create a life in love where the physical and spiritual meet. Such a dope experience. Just got out of the river and out of the shower just in time for the rains. I'm gonna try to make this quick because I have a metal roof and the rain, are loud. The rain is loud. So we'll see if this works. I wanted to briefly hop on here to remind us all, <laughs> remind myself, that we are not separate. We're not separate from source. We are a part of the oneness. And when we start to separate ourselves, that's when we start to inadvertently project our own stories and realities onto people. We start judging other people. We start judging situations and the way things are forgetting that there is no separation, <laughs> that everything that I judge outside of myself or project a story onto is a version of me. And that is also a version, a flavor of the ice cream in the sky. We'll call it God, great spirit, goddess, the mother, father, creator. The concept of separation is the veil. You know, when people are talking about, oh, the veil is thin in this time and the veil is doing this and the energies are doing that. And yeah, totally all that is true. And the only thing that is the illusion is the illusion of separation. That is the veil. That's the Maya. That's what has created wars and discord and challenges and suffering. And it's all stemmed from a belief system. Everything is belief based. Whatever it is that you believe is the reality that will be experienced every single time. That's just the way the quantum works. Believing is seeing, it's not seeing is believing. That's just a misnomer of the whole situation that's really true. And I share this because more people are becoming aware, awake, woke, whatever, as more hearts come online, as people are ascending and they're frequency of consciousness. They're moving into higher levels and, and realms of their own awareness. And I think that's awesome sauce. And my deepest encouragement and invitation is to remember that no matter where the I am is or where the you are is outside of me, that we are all an aspect of the I am. And there is no separation. <laughs> there really is no separation. When I remember, so I had a situation recently with this person who every time I see this person is just complaining and they're in the victim mode. Like everything is like, I'm a victim and everybody around me is a bully. Ooh. And I watch this person. I'm like, yo, you know, like that's a version of me. Okay. Like I'll just witness it. Right. Well, I recently, this, this person like, like really energetically and verbally aggressed to another person where we were sitting and I and I said to them like you know I really would love to connect with you and I don't like the way you aggress when you're not comfortable with questioning or with a statement I don't feel like I really want to connect like that and and that really upset them and they turned to this um, they turn their projection of the, of the being of the victim to me. Well, if someone is in victim consciousness, then somebody has got to be the bully. Somebody has to be the bad guy. Someone has to be the narcissist. Someone has to be the abuser, right? Somebody has to play that role to the person who is choosing the program of victim consciousness. So as soon as I called them out in the way that they were showing up, they did not like that. And so their projection were, were like, boom, and aimed at me. And reasoning out their aggression through, um, they, they, they want to be provocative. And they, they want to be provocative in their nature. This is their quote. And what was really funny was, and I'm like, what are they trying to provoke? Like, 
they just like aggressed at someone and like shut them down in their line of questioning. They just had a very simple, curious question and this victim like lashed out and like started to accuse them about blaming them. They took it very personally. And so when this person was explaining their reasoning for being so aggressive was that they want to be a, they want to be provocative. And so when I said, well, then what are you trying to provoke? Because what I see is that they're trying to provoke anger and upsetness and discord and disharmony. And they're not trying to provoke peace or unity or compassion or kindness, like at all. And so I said, well, what are you trying to provoke? Well, they didn't like that because that, they, that went against their program. Because it, it, was, it was shining a reflection, a reflective light onto, a, in, to, onto them. At which point they started to say all the things around it. And I'm, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to hear what you're saying. Like, I'm, I'm just asking a question. So can you answer that? And in that statement, they got even more triggered and started to raise their voice at me. At which point I was like, wow, I think it's great that you're raising your voice at me. And then I started to laugh at them. Now I transmute energy of my joy a spiritual gift, whatevs. And so I'm laughing and they're like, and you're laughing at me. And I was like, yeah, apparently I am. <laughs> like, it's just coming out. Like I'm not trying to laugh at you. And I see the humor of it all because meanwhile, back at the ranch in my mind, I'm looking at this person and being like, oh my God, this is a version of me. This is God, God is creator right there in a program that's not allowing their full divinity and their kindness and compassion to like be expressed and eat and emitted and radiated. Instead, they're choosing to live in a mental program that is still that of creator. It's just in a frequency and an expression that's just mwah. So they got very upset and they were like, I'm done with you. I will not talk to you ever again. I was like, okay. But if I feel, I feel that if I were seeing them as completely separate from me and judging them, um, judging my own experience in how I felt listening to this person, like aggress to this other human, you know, if I judged any of that, then I would have been pulling myself away from my God self, the I am. The, the part of me that's peaceful or that's accepting, the part of me that's loving and kind, I would have pulled out of that. And then I would have been acting as an egoic program. Instead, I got to hold on to the I am as I am and come from a place of curiosity, shining a light, reflection, honesty, complete authenticity, staying in integrity, and watching this other human completely lose their shit because they're in the egoic aspect of the victim. God isn't a victim. Creator is not a victim. Goddess is not a victim. Creator understands that creator created it all for the point of what? The point of life, the point of duality, the point of polarity, the point of having this human experience, the point of learning and growing and ascending and creating something mo better. But if creators are like, oh, but I'm a victim. <laughs> then nothing new gets created because creator separated. Creator separated and they went into a blame and a judgment and a program that's of the ego, it's of the mind structure that's like, I am rigid and this is right and this is wrong. As opposed to this open expansive nature of our divine aspect, which includes everything ever, 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 ever. So my deepest and sincerest invitation is to remember that there is no separation. When we see someone helping an elder cross the street, that is God helping God. When we see a brother with a, with a, with a gat capping somebody in the name of whatever war, that's still God shooting God. That's messed up. Trust, that's messed up. But that's what it is because everything is God. Everything, the bees, the flowers, me, that we're all expressions of the divine. Every one of us, the abuser and the abused and the guru on the mountain, all of it's God. 
Now, if we can remember that, the I am is me, A, then we start to chill the fuck out and we stop judging other people and we start being a body of peace. When we be a body of peace, then guess what? Peace on earth, ta-da. Like that's just the way it is. Because as within, so without. Everything begins within. Be the change. All that stuff that we know, but do we really embody it? To me, that's the work. That's the work of human. The work of human is to remember, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. I am that. I am the river that I'm sitting in. I am a moment in the river. The river is a fluid moment of my eternal nature that I can only experience from my perspective in this now moment. But there is no separation between the waters that flow around me and the waters that flow through me other than my perspective and my belief in the separation. There is no difference. The air that is around us that's creating these clouds or holding these clouds, that's holding the rain as it's falling, there is no separation between that air that I'm breathing that's around me and that you're experiencing and you're breathing. There is no separation between the earth and us. There is no separation between light and us. There's no separation between darkness and us. We're eternal, living testimonies of life. That's it. Here for a finite amount of time. No, time's not real. We're in the eternal now. Everything is forever. And when we remember that there is no separation, we start to really just like chill out again on another level. Of like, you know what? I got all the time. And it doesn't matter because oh, I'm eternal anyway. This body may not be, okay? And we start to loosen the grip of control, controlling others, controlling ourselves, controlling the government, controlling, controlling, controlling. We're not here to control, we're here to be. So the rain's coming, so I'm gonna tune out. So thanks for tuning in. Go to janetheguide.com. If you want to know more information, how to connect with me, how to be a member of the Patreon community, the Eternal Now Conscious community is what it's called. If you want to join some online experiences, if you'd like to have a personal quantum shamanic energy clearing and reprogramming, basically for me to remind Joas that you are sourced, but to take out the programs that have been programmed into your mind because you are human so that you can live as the divine that realizes it's the divine because you are that. So I'm sending you so much love from the Costa Rican now that I am currently in. And please take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And above all else, remember how loved you are because you are in fact love. There's no separation. I'm sending you so much love and blessings. And ciao for now. Peace.